I built this desk you're looking at right now for a hundred dollars. I've been looking for a new desk for my studio for months and everything is just way more money than I want to spend. The idea behind modifying this desk was after I watched an Andrew Masters video, he does these super awesome studio tours and he was in this one studio and the guy had a desk that had kind of an inlet on the backside where he had all of his power strips and cables and things like that and it was a super clean setup. And I looked all over the internet for it and I could not find it. So I figured why not just kind of make something for myself that accomplishes the same thing and on the cheap because you know I don't want to spend unnecessary money. So I came up with this idea to take an existing Ikea desk and modify the back where I can then hang a power strip and have clean cable management versus what my old setup was. My old cable setup with my old desk looked like this. It was disgusting, it was gross, just spaghetti everywhere. And as you can see this new desk with what I modified on it is way cleaner and I absolutely love it so far. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how I made it. You might already know how to make it just by looking at this, but if not, I'm just gonna show you the steps that I took to make this desk. And like I said, a functional studio desk for under $100. I'll put a link to the desk, I'll put a link to the shelves, heck, I'll even put the spray paint in there, the command strips, and the power strip. So if you wanna make this exact same desk for under $100, you'll have all the links you need. And before I get into the build, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, now up to the kitchen. All right, coming to you live from the kitchen for this part to be able to show kind of what needs to get done to build that desk. As you saw in the clip just before this one, there is that back kind of a hang down where the cables can run and where the power strips live. The IKEA desk I'm working off of is a 59 inch wide IKEA desk. As you saw in the video or the clip right before this, there is a back plate on it with the cables where the cable management is taken care of and the power strips. I didn't want to go all the way to the edge on the desk. I wanted to leave a little bit of space where I could run the cables down or up or something like that. I didn't want them flowing off the end. So unfortunately Lowe's didn't have a 47 inch shelf. So I ended up getting two 23.8 inch shelves. So I got two of these and I'll just end up butting them up to each other on the back of the desk. These each cost under $5. So these right here is, we'll call it $10. Both of these shelves are $10. And the 47 inch was also $10 or just a hair under. So price wise the same, just a little more, tiny bit more work to put two of these on. Now granted your desk might not be 59 wide, it might be 47. The backing that you choose, who knows how long is, you know, if you have a small desk, a 23 inch might be wide enough. Now at first I was gonna get, you know, some sort of stair edging, kind of like an L canal for the cable management in the back. The more I thought about it, I decided to go with command strips. So that way I can have them like this. And if you're not familiar with command strips, it's basically Velcro. You can just peel it off, put the cable on, peel it back on. There's no drilling needed for these or anything like that. They're just uh, adhesive and they stick and they're super strong. So as you saw in the opening clip, these are black. So Lowe's didn't have any black shelves. Uh, so I went and got some spray paint. So I'm going to go spray paint these right now. Two bucks. While that dries, we're gonna go build the desk. All right, real quick rundown of this desk before I go start building it. This is just a $50, less than $50 Ikea desk. They come in multiple different lengths. This one is a 59, as I said before. They also come in 47, I think 36. So depending on your application, you get different sizes of these. And obviously the smaller sizes are cheaper. So again, this one is the 59 inch and it retails for approximately 46 bucks. And that also includes the legs. Another thing that's nice about this is it comes with pre-drilled holes for the legs and the hardware, which is a bonus. So what I'm going to do after I put this together is I'm going to make some pilot holes into this desk top and some pilot holes into these shelves and the shelves will hang off it like this. And on those shelves, once they're done and they're attached to this, that is where the cable management is going to go and the power strips. All right, let's get started.
one thing that's rad about these is they just screw into the bottom. And the bottom down here is also adjustable so you can make sure it's level once you get into place. Now, I'm going to put these on to build the shelving part of it, but then when I take it back downstairs, I'm gonna take these legs off, which is awesome that they just screw off. Those. So I just got back from the store, and this is the power strip I ended up going with. It has two USB inputs and then nine plugs. And I'm gonna put this probably right in the middle of these two boards, so that way I still have room for my command strips along the top. So those are my next two steps on this. I'm gonna hammer them out real quick. All right, so let me walk you by why I decided to go with command strips for the cable management. Um, now granted, you might have a better idea, you might have something that you already have sitting around that works better than this. I just thought I'd give this a try, see how it works. I've never seen anybody try this before, um, other than just straight Velcro, but this is just slightly different. So if you're not familiar with command strips, it's basically like Velcro. Put it on there. There you go, and it sticks very, very good. You can just peel it right off. So my idea would be to Here's a cable, for example. Put it on in there. There you go. Keep everything managed back here. Run it up tight and high, out of the way. All right, so I've got the command strips on there. I've got the power strip on there. This side, of course, is gonna go against the wall. So rarely are you gonna see this side. So I feel like dinging up's not that big of a deal. So now I'm gonna finish putting my studio back together, run my cables uh, once it's all put together to see how well the cable management system works. But yeah, for a super cheap build, I'm, I'm liking it so far. So the total cost on this, you know, build slash modification really is just a modification um, of an existing table that works, that I think is gonna work really well in my studio. The total is about $95. We'll call it 100 after tax and, you know, stuff like that. But you know, the table is, uh, you know, it's $45 from Ikea. This power strip was 30 bucks. Command strips were like nine something, we'll call it 10. These two pieces back here were $5 each. Uh, the one full 47 inch is $10. The rattle can uh, black spray paint was $2, something like that is really cheap. So I'm excited to give it a spin, get it all set up. I'm really gonna like the open area on the top a lot. Not gonna be so claustrophobic with the uh, keyboard, my big 88 weighted keyboard on top. I'm excited for it, I'm excited to put it all together. All right, there you have it, studio desk for under $100, and I've been working on it for a few days now, and I have no issues with it at all. The cable management system's working just as expected, and I end up having even more cables than I thought I would running through them, and they still haven't failed me yet or anything. I love having the extra real estate on the desk after moving my keyboard to the side on a keyboard stand. I feel so much more refreshed when I come and sit down and start getting to work. If you are sick of looking at these studio desks go for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars and you want to build your own, maybe not make exactly like mine, but something modified like it, I think you'll be very happy with it and you can save some serious coinage in the process. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful or maybe spark some ideas of how you can modify your desk or get yourself a new desk that really helps your workflow. All right, until next time, adios.